And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This census took place while Quirinius was governing Syria. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger because there was no room for him or them in the inn. Now there was at the same time shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy to you this day for all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find that the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. So it was the angels had gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And then they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the same, which was told them concerning this child. And all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept those things in her heart, and she pondered them. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard, seen, and were told them.